Today, we're comparing caulking. This one, this one, versus this one, versus this one, and maybe even this one. Which one should you use on your next project? Does it matter? Is it important? The different prices? We're gonna find out today. So guys, what we're talking about is paintable caulking, the same caulking you'd use on uh, trim work, doors, uh, windows, something that's gonna be painted. Now there's another type of caulking, uh, siliconized caulking, that you wanna use on tile or, or vinyl or uh, you know caulking in like, I don't know, the, the toilet to the, the floor. In your painting project, you have to be really careful. So if you just run into Lowe's or Home Depot or even Sherwin-Williams to not just grab whatever tube of caulking that you see because you may pick up a, a siliconized or a silicone caulk that, that can't be painted. The benefits to silicone caulk is that it's really, really stretchy and it repels everything. So if it's on a surface that's gonna be painted, worst thing that you can do. You always wanna make sure that on the tube it says paintable. But that's what we're talking about today. We're talking about paintable caulking, not the silicone. Uh, that is a completely different use case. So, all right, let's get started. So here's our super scientific board um, that I made. And what we're gonna do here is just kind of, it's, it's like wax paper or parchment paper that uh, the caulking doesn't stick to. We're just gonna peel up each one. And I made, I made four of each one because I knew I'd mess some of them up. So let's start off i tell you what, yeah, let's start off with the 950A. It is this one right here. So uh, Sherman Wim says 55 year. I don't know what that means. Uh, there's, there's no way, uh, you know, caulking is going to last you 55 years. Uh, but yeah, real flexible. But let's check the, the stretch of it. Let's see. Actually pretty... That's a really good stretch. Here we go, we're gonna, get, there it goes, it finally broke. But yeah, that's extremely stretchable. Well, 950A, I think the cost of the 950A is around, I think like $5 a tube. All right, let's try this, the 850A. So the 850A is just, well, it's down below the 950. So this is also an acrylic paintable caulking. So they say 45 years. So does 45 years mean less elasticity? I don't, I don't know. Again, it ain't lasting 45 years. But let's see. So, all right, 850A. You know what, I didn't, it kind of broke in a thinned out area there. Let's try this one. Yeah, you can definitely tell that this one's not quite as flexible. Uh, I'm, I think the retail on that one is a couple dollars cheaper a tube. But I tell you what, so far the 950A is is in the lead. This was, it just feels much more crumbly, crumblier. That's the scientific word for it. All right. So now we're gonna try the DAP, the Alex. They say 25 years. So this one is the cheapest one in the bunch. The, you get this, at, I think at Lowe's and Home Depot. Uh, very DIY friendly. It's very soft. Uh, it's kind of thin as far as uh, application goes. But I see, this, uh, the, I see this caulking all the time for people just swinging into Home Depot or Lowe's to, to knock out their, uh, their paint project. All right, let's check the flexibility on it. Yeah, not, not very flexible. It has a little bit of stretch to it, but not much. And it just kind of feels like, feels like old chewing gum. Dried up chewing gum. All right, let's try this one. Yeah, it falls apart pretty quick. Yeah, it just feels, where these feel pretty gummy, 
real flexible, this, this dab, it feels real crumbly. Like I can just see this falling apart pretty quickly. Yeah. But the price point's cheap. So now, next we're going to uh, Charmex. Let's see, and this guy right here. So this is Sherwin-Williams, in my opinion, is uh, the best paintable caulking that, that they sell, that they make. Uh, to my knowledge, they may have something that's industrial and painting and paintable, but we use a lot of this. We use a lot of Shermax. But yeah, right off the bat, and feel whereas this felt like old dried up chewing gum that you would scrape off off the concrete. This feels like chewing gum that you just spit out. Uh, let's check the flex. Yeah, you can definitely feel the flexibility in it. Wow. Sure, Max, look at that. Wow. All right, that's, i tell you what guys, that is, Im that's impressive. Who knows, maybe it will last a lifetime. <laughs> Just kidding. Wow, I cannot believe how stretchy that is. Look at that. All right. Okay. Definitely right now, Shermax is in the lead. Good grief. All right. So the next one, Big Stretch. We use a lot of Big Stretch, but I tell you what, I've never done this test before. So right now we may be switching over to Shermax. But in our painting, in, in our painting company, we, uh, we use a lot of Big Stretch. So let's, let's see if we were using the right stuff. All right, here we go. This one feels really gummy too. Uh, this one feels similar to the Shermax. Well, it's a big stretch. Good grief. It will not break. Look at this. Oh my gosh. And it just broke where I was pinching it. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. I'm gonna do that again. Wow, look at that. I've never seen anything like that. Let's do something extremely unscientific. This piece of Sherm, this is the Shermax here, big stretch here. Uh, it looks like the Shermax is definitely a little thicker, so I don't know. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Who's gonna break first? It looks like the Shermax broke first, but okay. We'll get this piece caught up to, or caught up to the big stretch. Oh my gosh, look at that. So in this test, I'm going big stretch all the way. Look at that, that was, that's incredible. Now, the winner is the big stretch, hands down. Uh, in a close second place, I tell you what, I don't even know if it's close. Uh, Shermax is is not as stretchy. Uh, it the big stretch in that test is unscientific as it was. Yeah, uh, it, impressive performance, impressive. All right, here's our next test. All right, so what I did here is uh, I just squeezed out a little bit of caulking on the on our board. I don't know if you can fully see this because in hindsight, instead of using white primer, uh, but it's the only board that I had from our scrubability test. Um, so if you haven't seen that video, definitely go back and check that uh, with the Benjamin Moore Ultra Spec and uh, Regal Select and, and Aura in eggshells, seeing which one was uh, most scrubbable. I think you'll be surprised. So what we did here 
was uh, put out some of the caulking and then just took a um, basically a putty knife and smoothed them all out equally. And something that I noticed as far as like thinness and application, I know using a caulk gun all day, especially with something like a uh, like a Shermax, it's really thick. It's just exhausting on the hand or on the on the forearm. So the thinnest one is actually the DAP Alex. It, it honestly it performed more like a to like a thick paint. Leveled out great. Uh, if you can see it or not, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. What's the point of it leveling out and penetrating if it's if it's not going to last? If it's going to just break apart? It's actually kind of useless. So the next one. So we'll start with the 950A. And what I did was I uh, used some black paint to see how much uh, how much that caulking flashes. Uh, behind it. So at the 950A, I don't really know if you can see it. They they all did pretty good. One thing I noticed that Shermax, with, it went on really, really thick. The DAP really bled into the, the board, but also the Big Stretch did too. It didn't go on very thick. It kind of went on kind of watery. It smoothed out much, much better. The Shermax, I would say it smoothed out the least. But yeah, I'd probably say the DAP Alex, as far as smoothness goes and ease of workability, uh, the DAP Alex, so for a DIY or somebody that doesn't paint every day, I think your best bet for smoothness gonna be, is going to be in the DAP product. And I suspect since Home Depot and Lowe's really target that, uh, that DIY market, I suspect that's, uh, that's why it's sitting there proud and, they, and why they sell a ton of it. Shermax, I would say that's probably going to, could be your hardest one to use. It goes on thick, so when you're trying to smooth it out, it's probably going to be much more of a much more of a mess. The 950A and the 850A, pretty similar, pretty similar result out of those two. I would say minimal flashing on this uh, on the black paint. You can definitely see where it was. Uh, the DAP, very minimal flashing, and then Shermax, because it goes on so thick, you can definitely see a. Um, you can definitely see an outline where it was painted over, where that caulking was applied. The big stretch again, though, I mean, it laid down uh, minimal to no flashing. And because it levels out so well or is maybe a little bit thinner, easier to use, yeah, it's it's extremely minimal. But yeah, so like the the next thing is how sticky is it? You know, like when you have your when you have your baseboards and they're attracting dust and they're not, that caulking's just real gummy. You know that that tends to attract dust before you before you paint over it if you're going to leave these exposed and then from that i would say the Shermax is by far the stickiest yeah it just it just like it was uh here it just kind of feels like just kind of feels like wet gum it's if you if this isn't painted over it's going to attract a lot of dust for you and then it's going to be hard to clean because trying to clean something that's sticky. Now my fingers are sticky. So ranking these from least favorite to most favorite, there's going to be a little bit of a different application use case. I would say if, you know, if, if you have a rental property and you're wanting something on the cheap and you're wanting something uh, easy to work with, I would say the DAP Alex, but if you have a professional painter and they're showing up with a tube of this, or you're wanting a high quality lasting product or paint job, I, I cannot in any way uh, recommend this product. Then number two, um, I tell you what, for number two, I don't know. I, I think as far as uh, the 850, bring this back in this is the 850 this is the 950 as far as these two the 850 i don't know i don't i, I think either one uh and maybe even just because of the price point the value in the 850 in in our test we're doing here, the 850 leveled out a little better, smoothed out a little better. Stickiness, gumminess, they're about the same. They feel the same to me. I would say 850 uh, over the 950. So I would go from least favorite, the DAP, uh, second least favorite, 950. 
Uh, and then I would go 850 in, uh, in the, I guess, number number three spot, which kind of surprised me because the 950 is a little bit more expensive, but it may be it's uh, Achilles Hill over the 850. It's just a little more expensive. Now, first and second place. Uh, honestly, I think is I think it's pretty obvious. I, I think Shermax, uh, second place, and then going to the uh, going to the big stretch in in first place. The way that stretched all the way across the board uh, compared to the Shermax was was impressive. If you caulk in your your baseboard, your crown molding, uh, exterior siding, it, that is going to over the years stretch and move so much. And I, I mean, y'all saw it. It didn't. This stuff just, it just keeps going. Look, I, I've never seen anything like it. But I know there's other types of caulking out there that, uh, you know, we need to test. Right now, as far as accessibility, we had uh, we had these five sitting handy. We had to run to Home Depot to get the uh, to get the DAP though. As far as these five, right now. The big stretch definitely gets the uh, gets the gold medal. But if there's something else, as far as a paintable caulk, we don't want uh, we don't we're not talking silicone. Those are extremely stretchy. But for the use case of in-house painting, if you have one that you'd like to see go up and uh, compete with the the big stretch, put it in the comments below. And uh, yeah, let's let's see if we can find a caulking that beats the big stretch because right now the big stretch is the uh, is a clear winner as far as elasticity, smoothness, least amount of flashing. So well, guys, I I think we got to a pretty pretty positive conclusion here. So until next time, y'all hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the notification thumbs up. And uh, for more content like this and more comparisons, uh, we'll keep it going as long as y'all keep watching it. So until next time, guys. See ya. Today we are comparing caulking. Which one should you use on your next project? Did you juice? Sounds like you were being racist about juice. <laughs>